So by now you've probably heard that another Amish farmer, actually the same Amish farmer that got raided a few years back, got raided again by our government saying that he was selling raw milk and selling all these, these illicit things, farm foods, foods people, foods that he was growing to consumers that most of them have been buying from him for over a decade, some even 20 years. But what are we missing? What are we missing in this whole talk? Today we're going to discuss it. I, I may offend you too, because I'm going to be honest with you. This is a rant because I want you to understand that there's a lot more to than just this Amish farmer. Where's the enforcement coming from? Why, did, why is it illegal and who enforces it to be illegal? Why are we regulating it? But we're allowing other things to go free. Let's talk about it. Today is going to be a good video, but I may hurt your feelings. I may offend you, but what I want you to do is think. Just think. Let's talk about it. Today's video starts right now. With the lights out, die with my own doubts. Be free with me. Hey guys, welcome to the Max. Thank you so much for being here today. If you're new to the channel, go down here, press subscribe, ring the bell. Give us a thumbs up. It does help us stay on the algorithm and it does tell people that our content is something to just make you think, to make you maybe get a common sense approach to the situations around us and to raise our family in the best way we know possible. I hope you're already having a great 2024. I think we're in for a crazy year because of all the things going on. Now that brings me to the first point. We are literally talking about an Amish farmer who has been selling his foods to a quote unquote food club because they made him develop this food club for people to purchase into. Almost like a CSA, almost to have like a milk shares to where people can say, you know what? I'm buying from my own private group of individuals. So far, the guy's been busted two or three times because of all this uh, bad food, all this tainted food. Now. Mind you, he is selling to adults, to consenting adults, people who pay their taxes, people who work for a living, but that just does not want to buy into the system. But one thing that people are not talking about is yes, the overregulation. Yes, he should be able to sell his milk. Why? I mean, we, we literally have videos and footage of cities of people stealing, people doing illicit narcotics, illegal by the way, we have people literally coming across the border illegally. So there's, there's three things that we're filming that literally officers are watching happen. And we go to this Amish farmer in Pennsylvania. And we raid his farm. Now the question I get is, Colby, I mean, if he's selling tainted stuff, he shouldn't be able to sell it. It may be bad for us. You know how many times I've heard that like things like milk is bad for you? That beef is bad for you? It's kind of like that the video we made yesterday about the programming, you know. Uh, is it really bad for you or is it just what they tell you because they're trying to get you on something else? The soy milk, you know, the almond milk, the stuff that's heavily processed, the fake stuff, the fake meat. I digress. But here, here's, what I want, here's what I don't want you to miss. It's not about the law. It's not about the fact that there should be overregulation on a farmer selling food to his neighbors. That should not happen, especially when other things are happening illegally on camera, in front of officers. Even officers are opening the fence and letting people come illegally. So that's, 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 that is a big deal. And I don't want to miss that. I don't want to make light of that. But what, what is the common denominator of all of these? There's enforcement. There's overregulation. There's bureaucrats. But what about the ones who are there to protect and serve? Who am I talking about? The two most trusted entities in the government right now are law enforcement and military. I'll be honest with you, for the most part, they keep our cities safe. They keep our towns safe. They keep our states safe. They keep our nation safe. But they're there to protect and serve. The question are, who are they there to protect and who are they there to serve? This is the part that may offend you. Yesterday, or day before, there was Laura Luma. Laura Loomer, she was a Trump supporter um, and she went to a Nikki Haley rally. Now everyone knows she is a Trump supporter. Why is she a Nikki Haley rally? She bought a ticket, she was there, probably trying to get information and dirt on Nikki Haley. Who made her leave? Well, the campaign came and talked to her, but the campaign didn't make her leave. Who did? The law enforcement, because they were there to protect and serve who? Not, 
not the constituents. They were there for Nikki Haley. So therefore they made Loomer leave. Now they enforced a situation and they protected a certain person. Now the, the, the crazy thing is, Nikki Haley, if she's scared of some Trump pundit, then she shouldn't be running for president anyway, first and foremost. Now, let's go to the border. Are the border there to protect and serve us? The border to patrol, the National Guard, the police, whoever's there. Now we want them to, we want them to hold the line However, they're cutting it and letting it open. Why? Who are they serving? Are they there protecting and serving the American people? Or are they enforcing and protecting and serving the bureaucrats who said, you better cut the fence? At Amos Miller's farm, the Pennsylvania Amish farmer that got raided, who was the first ones in? It wasn't USDA and FDA. They were not first there. They sent the officers to start the raid. So they sent state troopers to let everyone know to get out and that they were shutting it down. So are they protecting and serving that community or the bureaucrats? Now the question comes down to, is it anybody's business on what anyone does with their neighbor? It shouldn't be. As a libertarian, especially a conservative libertarian, if someone wants to buy my hogs or cattle or milk, they should be able to. Now I don't sell mine, and to be honest with you, this is why I don't, because I can't stand the overregulation and bureaucracy behind it. But guess what, if I did, the people that are supposed to protect and serve me, they're gonna come and serve me a arrest warrant or a raid on my farm because the bureaucrats told them to. So who are they protecting and serving? Enforcement is good, law enforcement is good, but it depends on who they're working for and what they're enforcing. Now let's talk about two more stories and I want you to, I want you to think about it now before you get mad at me. Let's walk through them. Because this is so much bigger than selling raw milk. What happened in January in 2020. There's a lot of officers there. They could have been honest and said exactly what happened. And there's two or three that has come forward and said what happened. But guess what? They didn't, a lot of them didn't talk. A lot of them didn't tell us the truth. They still believe that it was completely wrong and that Trump is the one to blame. Now, the footage is showing a whole lot different thing. So, were they there to protect and serve the people that they're supposedly working for that pays their bills because they're the taxpayer or the bureaucrats? It's amazing, they're protecting the bureaucrats in Washington. Mostly all Washington big leadership and representatives and congressmen have some kind of security, some kind of law enforcement security. But our schools can't. Our schools are getting shot up, but they can't. So, so our kids are not worth what our enforcement and regulation and government bodies are. Who are they protecting and serving? The people who pay them. Police and military are great. I'm not trying to throw shade on them. But what I'm trying to tell you is every video I always say, listen, do your research, do things for yourself. Realize you are the only one that cares for your family and wants to see their security and wants to see your own security more than anyone else. It's kind of selfish, but to be honest with you, you love your children and you love yourself more than anyone else that you love, other than a spiritually talking Christ. But other than that, no one's looking out for your family like you're looking out for your family. No one's looking out for the Amish man like the Amish man's looking out for. So who does the law enforcement work for dictates who they're there to protect and serve. I think of AI. AI has already been sold to us that it is so good. It's going to help us cure cancer. It's going to help us do surgeries that, that sometimes doctors can't. It's going to tell us legal, legal scholar information within seconds compared to a guy looking for it in a book. That's all good, but who does AI work for? When AI is working for someone wanting to do good, it's going to do great things. But who's in control? That's what matters. Because when AI is in the hands of the wrong person, AI can do a lot of things. It can surveil you. It's going to pretty much put you in a Truman Show state. Did anyone watch the Truman Show with Jim, with Jim Carrey where everybody was basically surveilling Jim Carrey? Everybody knew what he did. They kind of grew to love him. Some didn't like him. It was a show. What was it? it he was over-surveilled. Have you seen the dystopian movies lately? Over-surveillance. That's what AI is going to help do. Now, this video is not about AI. It's about the fact of who's in charge of the enforcement who's in charge of what goes on dictates what happens our law enforcement and military are great people 
And most of them want to serve America, want to serve their families and keep us safe. However, if they're not willing to stand up and have a backbone to say, you know what, bureaucracy, I may lose, lose my job, I may not get promoted, I may be fired, you may scold me, but if this guy has the right to do this, if, he's a, if we live in a free America, we should, we should be able to have a sovereign border. If we want to have safe streets, we should be able to arrest the guy that's doing narcotics right beside us. But you know what? Police passed that because the bureaucracy told them to. And the Border Patrol cuts the fence because someone told them to. Here's what you hear. I'm just following orders. When we follow orders, that's when we get a problem. Because it depends on who's giving the orders to find out whose side the protect and serve is actually on. Here's another case. A few years back, when we had the lockdowns, when we had the lockdowns, who enforced the policies of masks? Who enforced the policies of closing down places? Who enforced things when, when the people that wanted freedom said, I'm not going to do this or do that? Who came along? The officers, the enforcement. To protect and serve they wouldn't protect and serve you they're protecting and serving whatever bureaucracy or regulation that was passed down to them they were following orders military and police are 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 told they have to follow orders but sometimes i wonder if if we grew backbones and realized well you know what i'm not going to follow orders that if they're going against the freedoms and liberties of americans i wonder how many stand up and actually say that so i hope i didn't offend you but all i'm saying is this when, people, when you hear the terms protect and serve and the, the law enforcement officers and military are there to help America and freedoms and liberties and protect you and serve you, they're there to serve whoever pays them. They're there to serve whoever their bosses are. If you're an employee, you understand that. You're employed by your employer. So you're going to listen to your employer, whatever they say. I'm not throwing shade on anyone. We have to follow orders to a, a point. You know, in the Bible it says, pay Caesar what is Caesar's. So in that point, government is set up. We understand that. But then there comes a point where you have to stand up and say, you know what? No one's looking out for you but yourself and your family. No one's going to protect you. That's why prepping and homesteading and living sustainable is very important. I'm not saying police and military and bureaucracy and all that's out to get you. I'm not saying AI is out there to get you. I'm just saying, if you really want to know who's protecting and serving you, first of all, spiritually, you have to look at Christ. We know that. But physically, mentally, emotionally, it's your family. It's the community that you build around you. You know, I, I challenge you, a Amos Miller, this Amish farmer, I hope he's doing all cash sales, and I hope he's selling to people who he can trust. Because there's there must have been someone he couldn't trust because that's the ones who may have turned him in question is not, did the Am Amish farmer sell milk illegally? First of all, that's a joke because with all the other junk going on in our world, we're worried about an Amish farmer selling some milk? Come on. While we let all this other stuff illegally happen. If you live in California, you just signed up to pay for illegal immigrants' health care bills. If you live in Chicago and New York, Basically, you just got kicked out of maybe some rental apartments or hotels or assisted living homes, especially the veterans, so illegal immigrants could live there. Now, is that legal? No. But the bureaucrats said it's okay, and guess what? Who enforces that? The people they employ. The law enforcement and the military, they make it happen. So if you're military and police, I love you guys, man. I'm not dogging you out. But I'm saying, the orders that you're getting, make sure they're there to protect and serve Americans. Make sure if you're elected a congressman, if you're elected to Congress, that the, you're there to represent the people, not the special interests. If you're there working for the employee, you want your boss and your job to shine, but you don't want to sell yourself short of that. If you're an educator and the public education tells you you can't speak about your faith and you don't speak about it, then you're being subservient. You're not serving Christ. You got to be willing to stand up and if it comes to it, you're going to share Christ. There needs to be more people standing up and saying, you know, what, what you're doing is wrong. We shouldn't be arresting an Amish farmer and taking his meat and milk and freezers while we're allowing six million people to cross our border in the last three or four months. I think we've got it all wrong. The problem is not military and law enforcement. It's the bureaucracy behind it that's telling them what to do. 
the overregulations that we have. Yes, all that's the problem. But until enforcement stands up and says, you know what, we're not going to do that. The guy can sell the milk. I think we should be worried about our border. I think we should worry about our safe streets. I think we should be worried about our school systems that are having shots fired all the time because there's not enough officers to guard them. But we can guard the congressman. We can guard the courthouse. Those are all adults. Kids are there vulnerable, but we don't have enough quote unquote money and enforcement to protect them. Upside down world, guys. It's actually a clown world. So who's there to protect and serve you? You better be worried about protecting yourself because I don't know if there is help coming always because you may be on the wrong side of regulation one day. And the question is, who's there to protect and serve you? That's my rant for the day. It may upset you. You may be offended. I'll get crazy comments. But ultimately, I'm just saying we have to pay attention to what's going on around us. Our schools are not protected, but our government officials are. We can't sell raw milk and we can't sell eggs to our neighbors because it's dangerous. When they're adults, they should be able to decide if it's dangerous or not for them. However, we're allowing people to break into our country illegally. It's amazing. We won't even allow free speech and free press because they were kicked out of Amos Miller's farm. Press couldn't be there. There was press kicked out of Nikki Haley's event. Press couldn't be there. Who enforced it? Law enforcement. Because they were protecting and serving the opposite side. Think about what I'm talking about. I'm not hating on people. I'm not throwing shade on people. I'm just saying sometimes it takes us opening our eyes and realizing this may not be right. Should we be enforcing what we're enforcing? Should we overregulate and keep on making all these policies and bills to pass when we're allowing the most vulnerable, our children, the elderly, the farmer who raises our food, the regular American? Are they really the one we're protecting and serving? Think about it. Give me your thoughts. Am I wrong? Am I right? It's just my rant for today. Thank you for watching. God bless. Happy Homestead.